I just I just heard that uh that um the creator for Dragon Ball Akira Toriyama passed away uh, uh yesterday I think well I, at least yesterday is when the news broke um just just making these videos in appreciation for like Dragon Ball was an iconic uh, series that impacted a lot of people and probably was um one of the very well the very first anime they ever watched it probably introduced them to the entire um medium of entertainment i know for me it was dragon ball then one piece then naruto but i'm telling you if i didn't if i if if i never got introduced to 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 dragon ball at least dragon ball z is what, what i was introduced to i didn't watch his the, the prior series when it was goku's early years so yeah um you know when i when i was a kid you know cartoon network back when cartoon network was cartoon network yeah um every friday you know i would like be in anticipation for yeah the next episode of dragon ball and trying to trying to catch up and all of that stuff you know where i where i where i was like um where where i live it wasn't easy to get cable we had to go in many roundabout ways and uh sometimes we had to get the service cut off because we couldn't afford it and stuff like that it was not until i became an adult that i that i finished the series i didn't watch the the uh, still i didn't watch dragon ball i only caught up with the entire dragon ball z series and then i went into dragon ball super yeah most people didn't like um um dragon ball gt but it was somewhat entertaining and some iconic characters came from it yeah and some iconic transformations like the like the super saiyan 4 trans transformation yeah the dude brought some so much um enjoyment and and uh inspiration to a lot of young people and that grew up into adults uh currently showing their appreciation for the life that he lived and uh wishing him to wishing for him to rest in peace and wishing condolences to the family and all of that and it's really great to see but yes i know this but was coming but <laughs> you can't just have someone popular just have some have people wishing the best for them and hopes he rests in peace and uh wishing the best for his family without the crazy people coming out trying to bring up some 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 madness about uh akira toriyama and we've heard this again and again and um it's been disproven time and time again i know that japanese media is somewhat influenced by american media but not everything is, is seen through a, a, a racial lens some people are trying to bring up back like that that mr popo um thing about um toriyama being racist about how he he draw uh mr popo he didn't say that mr popo was a black person and anyone that looks at the depiction of mr popo and uh think that that is a black person then you're the one that has a problem because no one in their right mind would look at that image and think that that's a black person that is not any stylized or any form of representation towards um, black people. I came across a few tweets just to, to, to firmly put this discussion to rest because, yeah, even if, even if, <laughs> no matter how many times people address this, um, this situation, there are always going to be people that want to believe otherwise and stuck in their ways, even when they are presented with definitive proof but here we go so tell me why i'm scrolling through twitter right and i see this tweet come across my timeline that says y'all are saying rest in power for a man who literally designed this racist ass character design now we always so 
Let me bring that back just a little bit. You see that right there? No one in their right mind would look at that and instantly think that's a black person unless they race it. Literally. 100%. Continue. This racist ass character design. Now, we all watch Dragon Ball Z, so we've seen Mr. Popo before, but yeah. I can understand why this person got mad because this nigga looks like it. Look at this nigga. I... Yo. I can't believe I can't, I can't, this I, I, nigga chose to disrespect No, him. no, no. I, I paused that. I paused that. I, did, I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to pause that on the screen, bro. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Let's, let's continue because that, no. He, 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 right, but no, Mr. Popo looks better. Akira Toriyama on the day of his death. Yeah. Well, since you want to send Akira Toriyama off with that, let's see if we can send you off with this. Nigga, you don't get your big ass Bridget from Trolls Rage, Shimron, <laughs> Elder Guru, Majin Buu, Fat Gotenks, Hoggers, Green League, Janemba, Black Yajirobe, Luffy, Get Full, Tank Man, Grimace, yeah. Queen, Big Mom, uh, Gloria uh, from Madagascar, PJ from a goofy movie, Grove Sister, Rasputia, BMP yeah. the Fag Man, Steal from Juice, Phase on Love, Big X the Plug. Look at this fat ass nigga. Fat nigga from 8 Mile. Built ass. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, this was some, some well needed comedy for, in, in light of the situation. The fuck up out of here. <laughs> yo, damn, yo. He roasted him. He roasted him. He, he, he set him on fire and burned him up. In body mode, real, real, real quick. But I'm telling you, it's always people like that that come out with these with these freaking takes that they just want the the engagement and try to come up off like a, a big event to get attention. The same type of people who celebrated when Kevin Samuels passed, you know. But it's the same mo. Someone. You look for a controversy tied to them, or you probably didn't like their opinion, and as soon as they go, you celebrate it. You 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 dancing on the table, and and it's not like these people were egregious, um, deplorable human beings. These people, they impacted people's lives in positive ways. You 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 would know nothing about that if I didn't discover Dragon Ball uh, or Dragon Ball Z when, when I was young. I probably wouldn't have been be, been enjoying all the anime that I'm currently enjoying in this day and age. And I'm telling you, I, I'm just grateful for the art that he brought into this world and for everything, every form of entertainment that spawned from it. All the games, all the, you know, all the spin-offs, all the, all the music, you know, anything tied to Dragon Ball. I'm grateful for it and I'm appreciative for it. So. Yeah. So if you guys feel the same way, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. It's Wolf. Peace out. We take him ass. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah.